468 clues have come and gone, but 26 new ones are headed your way as part of this 19th episode of Disney 100 Jeopardy. Welcome in. As always, I am your host, Brian Perry, and thanks for being here. Happy Father's Day to all you dads out there. Happy Father's Day, Pops. We've got a special category for you guys today, but before we get to the categories, let me remind you that we are just one week away from the big 20th episode of Disney 100 Jeopardy. This thing is going to be huge. 11 categories with 51 different clues. Hey, I'm still working on this thing. But for now, let's focus on the task at hand. That will be the 26 clues in this episode 19. So let's take a look at the rules on your screen. If this is your first time playing, welcome in. If not, you know what I'm going to say. If you want to cheat, go right ahead. I won't tell. Last week's Final Jeopardy category was all about Miss Cruella de Vil. Cruella de Vil. If she doesn't scare you, good for you. You are very, very brave. Look at that face. That is, that's terrifying. She kicks things off as we take a look at the categories in this episode 19. There she is, five clues about 101 Dalmatians, legendary baddie. Second category in honor of Father's Day is Disney Dads. I'll give you the name of a Disney character. You'll have to tell me who their dad is. On to the third category. Where do you work again? This category came straight from the comment section. Shout out Catherine D who came up with this idea. Basically how it's going to work is I will show you a cast member's outfit within a Disney park and you'll have to tell me, you guessed it, where they work. I love that. Fourth category, also a suggestion from the comments from Hans B M D 20 celebrity casts. I'll give you three different actors. You'll have to name the film they worked on together. And the fifth and final category, my favorite superhero, Spider-Man. But you'll notice it said Spider-Men. Now that is because it's all about the three different live action franchises. So it's not just one Spider-Man, but the Spider-Men. Three different Spider-Men dating back to 2002. So with that, it is time for the cupcake round, the easiest round of the game. Each of these clues are worth 200 points. Let's go across the board and kick things off with Miss Cruella DeVille. Starring as the iconic character, these two women played the villain in 1996's 101 Dalmatians and 2021's Cruella. Who are Glenn Close and Emma Stone? Anita, darling. <sighs> Who are you? You look vaguely familiar. I look stunning. I don't know about familiar. On to the category for Father's Day. It's Disney Dads for 200. Simba. The answer there is perhaps the most famous Disney dad of all. Who is Mufasa? Mufasa. Ooh. Do it again. Mufasa. <laughs> Mufasa. <laughs> Mufasa. 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 <laughs> it tingles me. I'm surrounded by idiots. On to where do you work? Hmm. Does this look familiar? Whoever's wearing that is welcoming you into Gracie Mansion. The outfit belongs to the attraction, the Haunted Mansion. Here's celebrity cast for 200. Mandy Moore, Zachary Levi, Donna Murphy. What is the most expensive animated film of all time? Tangled. Trust me, pet mother. Knows best. <laughs> Listen, if they ever make a live action Tangled, you don't have to worry about recasting Mother Gothel. Just give it to Donna Murphy. She could do it. That was awesome. On to the final clue of the cupcake round. It comes from Spider Man. The three actors to portray Spider Man and the three live action franchises dating back to 2002.
who are Toby Maguire, Andrew Garfield, and Tom Holland. I fought a, an alien made out of black goo once. Oh, no way. I fought an alien too, on Earth and in space. Oh. Yeah, he was purple. I want to fight an alien. I'm, I'm, I'm still like that you fought an alien in space. <sighs> I'm lame compared, like I fought a Russian guy in a, like a rhinoceros machine. So before we get to the second round, you know I have to ask you guys the age old question, who is the best Spider-Man amongst those three actors? It's so tough. I could honestly go all three ways. I did think Andrew Garfield was a little too cool to be Spider-Man. He's not like nerdy enough, right? Tobey Maguire was probably not cool enough so that leaves Tom Holland via process of elimination, but I want to say Tobey Maguire, but maybe that's because of nostalgia. I want to say Andrew Garfield because he's so cool. I don't know. I don't know. Let me know what you think in the comments below. We move on to the second round now. These are worth 400 each. We're back to Cruella. Cruella's two henchmen. Who are Jasper and Horace? Yes, but uh, I've been thinking. You've been thinking? Now nah, look here, Horace, I warned you about thinking. Here's Disney Dads for four. Nemo. The answer, who is Marlin? You know what I was thinking about this? Marlin might be the most underrated and greatest father in the history of Disney or Pixar animation. Think about it, he's this big. This tiny little clownfish, he's this big. He travels across the entire ocean alongside Dory Whoa! to find his son Nemo. Meanwhile, you have other Disney dads in the ocean who blow up their daughter's rooms because they have a bad temper. So yeah, big discrepancy between Disney dads under the sea. We move on to the third category. Once again, it is where do you work for 400? This looks kind of familiar, right? That outfit belongs to the railroads at Walt Disney World and Disneyland. We're back to celebrity cast for 400. John C. Riley, Sarah Silverman, Jane Lynch. The answer, 2012's Wreck-It Ralph. And to finish off the round, it's Spider-Man for 400. In 2012's Amazing Spider-Man, Andrew Garfield's Peter must save New York City from this evil villain. Who is the lizard? Uh oh. Somebody's been a bad lizard. Moving on to the third round now. These are worth 600 each. We're back to Cruella. The man behind Cruella's design in 101 Dalmatians, this animator was responsible for also drawing up Maleficent and Tinkerbell. Later in his career, he became one of Disney's original Imagineers. Who is Disney legend Mark Davis? Of course, they couldn't have done it without a little behind-the-screen help from artists like Mark Davis. It's really an animator is basically an actor, but instead of having his own face in front of the camera, you have um, uh, the character that you do. Here's Disney Dads for 600. Wendy. Not a great Disney dad, but a dad nonetheless, who is George Darling from Peter Pan. Wendy? Wendy! Yes, father? Would you kindly... Oh, mother, you look simply lovely. Thank you, dear. Where do you work for six? Ooh, this outfit's fun. My most underrated ride at Walt Disney World, what is Mission Space? Your celebrity casts. Jonathan Groff, Sterling K. Brown, Evan Rachel Wood. J. 
Jonathan Groff, you might recognize from Frozen, but Sterling K. Brown and Evan Rachel Wood are the key here. The answer is Frozen 2. And here's Spider-Man for 600. We're introduced to Tom Holland's version of Spider-Man in this 2016 film. That's right, we didn't first meet him in a Spider-Man film, but instead, Captain America Civil War. All right, I run out of patience. Under ruse! Nice job, kid. Thanks. Well, I could have stuck the landing a little better. It's just a new suit. Well, it's nothing, Mr. Stark. It's, it's perfect, thank you. Yeah, we don't really it's... need to start a conversation. Okay. Cap Captain? Big fan of Spider-Man? Yeah, we'll talk about it later. Just... Hey, everyone. Good job. I will say, prior to Infinity War and Endgame, obviously, uh, Civil War, Captain America Civil War, is my favorite Marvel film of all time. Moving on, it's the fourth round. These are worth 800 each. Here's Cruella. Finish the lyric. Cruella de Vil. Cruella de Vil. If she doesn't scare you... What is no evil thing will? Cruella de Vil, if she doesn't scare you, no evil thing will. Oh, to Roger. See her in Here's Disney Dads for eight. Tiana. The answer, who is James? Yes, you only hear him speak at the beginning of Princess and the Frog when Tiana is helping him make gumbo. Mm. What? Well, sweetheart, this is the best gumbo <laughs> I've ever tasted. Here's where do you work? That outfit kind of says I'm formal on the bottom, but I like to party on top. The attraction it belongs to is Star Tours. Celebrity casts now. Jake Gyllenhaal, Dennis Quaid, Gabrielle Union. This is a film I'm sure a lot of you haven't even seen because Disney just forgot to market it, I guess. What is Strange World? How far down does it go? Watch out for the wind! No, 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 no. In 2002 Spider-Man, Tobey Maguire faces off with Bonesaw in a wrestling match. The ring announcer introduces him to the crowd as Spider-Man, but Peter wanted to be called this instead. What is the Human Spider? What's your name, kid? The Human Spider. The Human Spider, that's it? That's the best you got? Yeah. Oh, that sucks. The terrifying, the deadly, the amazing Spider-Man! My name's the Human Spider. I don't care, get out No, he got my name wrong. That's it for 20 of the 26 clues in this game. You know what that means. It's time to cue the music for the most dramatic, or I guess overly dramatic, unnecessarily dramatic, 1,000 point round, hit it. I have to come up with more stretches because I do this every time before the 1,000 point round. Maybe I'll do a couple of these. I don't know. Anyway, focus. You got this. These are worth 1,000 points each, so are you a gambler or not? Let's find out. It starts with Cruella. Betty Lou Gerson was the legendary voice behind the character. But prior to 101 Dalmatians, you could hear her narrating this famous Disney film. I tell you what, this fun fact is awesome. I didn't know this answer until this week when I looked it up. So if you did know it, props to you. The correct answer is Cinderella. Once upon a time, in a faraway land, there was a tiny kingdom here in a stately chateau there lived a widowed gentleman and his little daughter, Cinderella. Oh, yeah. yeah. You could hear her, right? You could kind of hear Cruella in there a little bit. We move on now to the final clue for Disney Dads. 
Riley. So Riley is from Inside Out. Her dad's name, Bill. Who is Bill Anderson? Aren't you a little bundle of joy? Yucky! Riley, if you don't eat your dinner, you're not gonna get any dessert. Wait, did he just say we couldn't have dessert? Moving on, here's the final clue to where do you work? Or should I say, where did you work? If you're wearing this, you worked at the Chinese theater before Mickey and Minnie took over. What is the great movie ride? Here's one last celebrity cast. Rick Moranis, Joaquin Phoenix, Michael Clark Duncan. Now that is a crazy cast. The movie, Brother Bear. And I like your movie. Well, thank you very much. It's a happy coinkity. Loved it, it was awesome. Yeah. Economic, environmental impact in these troubled times. Excuse me? <laughs> Kidding. <laughs> She's so much fun. You know what? I think our interviews will last about two seconds. <laughs> And the final clue on the board goes to Spider-Man. Prior to the start of Tobey Maguire and Sam Raimi's trilogy in 2002, this famous director was hired to write, direct, and produce a feature-length Spider-Man film in the early to mid-90s. Leonardo DiCaprio was considered for the lead role, but the film never came to be. The correct answer is, who else? But James Cameron, that's right, Mr. Terminator 2, Mr. Titanic, Mr. Avatar was actually planning on producing and directing and writing a Spider-Man film in the mid-90s. He got as far as writing a screenplay. Obviously, the movie never came to exist, but 2002, Sam Raimi's Spider-Man actually took a lot of elements from James Cameron's movie. James talked about it in his book, Tech Noir. He said, I wanted to make something that had a kind of gritty reality to it. Superheroes in general always came off as kind of fanciful to me. And I wanted to do something that would have been more in the vein of Terminator and Aliens. Can you imagine that? A dark, gritty Spider-Man? Kind of like Robert Pattinson's Batman, I guess. But back in the 90s, that would have been, been awesome. Obviously, the movie never came to exist. But it's cool to think about. That's going to do it for the regular clues, but... One round remains. It is Final Jeopardy, and it will ultimately determine how well you did today heading into next week's big episode 20. This is also an important Final Jeopardy because when I reveal the category, you know it carries over to that episode 20. So it will be one of our 11 categories next week. Without further delay, <laughs> I'm laughing because this category is pretty ridiculous. Without further delay, let's check out what it is. Face mash. Okay, so this is how this is going to work. Uh, I took two secondary characters. I'll let you know now. They're not main characters. They're secondary characters. They are in two films that have debuted for either Disney or Pixar since the year 2000. That's another clue. And I, I took them and I mashed their faces together. So basically, you'll have to identify who the two characters are. You'll also be able to judge my Photoshop skills, which are not the best. Two characters uh, in two different films. Who are they? Good luck. All right, time is up. I'll let you know now the characters stem from the movies Coco, one of my favorites from Pixar, and Ralph Breaks the Internet, which was Wreck-It Ralph 2 from Disney. Who are the characters? Ernesto de la Cruz and Shank, who is voiced by Gal Gadot, once again in Ralph Breaks the Internet. I hope you got it right. If not, who cares? You've got a week to get ready for episode 20. That's going to do it for episode 19 of Disney 100 Jeopardy. If you like what you saw, be sure to subscribe. Click that bell icon. Hello, bell. This way you're notified every time we come out with brand new videos. Once again, Face Smash will be a part of of episode 20. So start memorizing those Disney and Pixar faces. If you don't like Face Mash, I'm sorry. But there will be 10 other categories that perhaps 
you can ace. I will see you in a week. Till then. Bye bye.